Hello, in this video we're going to give a brief overview about the customer ticketing system in Coderis. Um, so as you can see, I am signed in as a customer on our demo website here. And if I go to my customer portal by clicking the manage account, you can see we have this tickets option here. And if we select that, um, it will bring us to the customer ticketing system where all of the tickets that I've submitted under this four presidents account um, are visible. Now from here, your customers can submit tickets, um, comment on tickets, uh, edit tickets, and do any number of things. And this can be used for a variety of different use cases, such as customer service, field service, equipment repair, and so on. So let's dive into a little bit more in detail how this works. So I, as a customer, can go ahead and create a new ticket by clicking this button. And it will take me to the details of my new ticket where I can fill in the title. Um, maybe I'm requesting um, repair on one of my equipment. I could do repair drone, for example. And I can choose a ticket type, which is totally customizable to you. You can configure as many different workflows as you want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select equipment repair because that is what my ticket is for. Um, I'm going to select the pri priority. Maybe it's really urgent that I get this drone fixed, so I'm going to make it a blocker. Again, these priorities have been entered um, into this Codera system. You can set any priorities you'd like for your Codera system and your customers to choose from. Uh, we'll move skip over status here. Uh, this field is not editable as of yet by customers. That is coming shortly. And finally, here is the order field where we can determine in what order this ticket should be completed or what order it is uh, at, in importance to me. I'm just going to leave that on the default because I've already indicated that it's a blocker. And let's go ahead and add a description. I can also leave comments here, um, which are visible in the operations portal, um, as well as subscribe to notifications when this ticket is changed or somebody has left comments on it from the operations portal side as well. Please also keep in mind that um, other users under this account can also view these tickets and add comments as well. So your customers can also track and add feedback into this ticketing system um, and comment to each other as well as commenting to you. Now if we hop back over to the ticket screen here, you can filter and sort on any of the columns here as well as choose other columns to display. So maybe I want to add reporter to my view and type. I could go ahead and do so. And now we can see who reported these tickets and the uh, type. So for example, if I wanted to filter down only onto equipment repair, I could go ahead and do equals and then fill in my type. And we see it is filtered down to equipment repair. And if a customer wants to go ahead and view the details again on their ticket, they can go ahead and do so. Um, but if I want to check on the status of this AWS Quick Site ticket, I could go ahead and go to the details. And obviously, customers can see any files attached to those tickets um, from the from the operations side or uh, other users under this account. Now, before we leave the customer side and go into the operations side and learn how to configure this ticketing system, I just want to note here that if customers do want to receive notifications about changes to tickets, or comments left on tickets, they will want to head over to the notifications screen down here and subscribe to the ticket notifications that they want to receive. Now let's hop over to the operations side where I am now logged in as an authenticated employee. And let's see how we can configure the ticketing system. So what we'll want to do first is head over to system here and then go to settings. And if we search on customer ticket, 
You'll see a list of t settings here that pertain to the customer ticketing system. What you'll want to do to turn this ticketing system on for your customers is to set this customer tickets enabled setting to one. And then you can configure these other settings, the ticket priorities, ticket statuses, and ticket types, which whatever workflows you would like your customers to use. So for example, if we look in the priorities setting, um, you can see we have blocker, priority level one, two, and three. Those are the priorities we just saw in the customer portal as a customer. You can add as many prior different priorities as you would like the customer to be able to select. And just remember to separate each value by a comma. Similarly, if we head back over to customer ticket statuses, we could enter a list of customer ticket statuses we'd like our customers to be able to see and select. And same for the customer ticket types. You can fill in what ticket types you would like um, your customers to be able to select in the customer portal. Um, please note that a slightly different format is required here. It's a JSON format where you can specify the value of the type, uh, the name, and a description as well. Um, we're, we'll be releasing shortly a way where you can point and click uh, edit these types. Um, if you need any assistance in configuring them in the meantime, uh, please reach out to your Coderis account manager. Now one last thing I'll cover is where you can see all of the customer tickets um, from the operations side here. So if we hop over to services and then select tickets, and we can add a new column here. It's called display to customer. And if we add that to our grid view here, we can see we have tickets that are marked as being inside the customer portal and also tickets that are not marked as being in the customer portal. So any tickets that have display to customer set to yes, customers will be able to see those. And when a customer creates a ticket in the customer portal, it will automatically be set to yes. And as you can see, here's our tickets that we were just looking at in the customer portal. Let's go into the quick site users one, for example. And here you can see the name and description that the customer entered along with any comments that they have left. You can also comment back to them here and also view any, com any files they attached as well. All right, so that's a brief overview of the new Coderis customer ticketing system. Hopefully you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.